Hello, welcome to this course, Learn Python, a full course for beginners. In this Python tutorial, we will learn all the concepts of Python in detail. Let's start off by understanding what exactly is Python. Python is a general purpose, interpreted, interactive, object oriented and a high level programming language. It was created by Guido Van Rossum and released in 1991. Python is designed to be highly readable. It uses English keywords frequently, unlike other languages that use punctuation. And it has fewer syntactical constructions than other languages, which makes it very easy and readable. Python programming is widely used in artificial intelligence, natural language generation, neural networks, and other advanced fields of computer science. Many large companies use Python programming language such as NASA, Google, YouTube, BitTorrent and many more. Like Perl, Python source code is also available under the GNU GPL license. This tutorial gives you enough understanding on Python programming language. Why should we learn Python? I would say Python is a must for students and working professionals who would want to become great software engineers, especially when they are working on big data and data science fields. I will list down some of the key advantages of learning Python. Python is simple and very easy to learn. Learning Python programming language is easy and fun. If you compare Python with any other language like Java or C++, then you will find that its syntax is a way lot easier. You also don't have to worry about the missing semicolons in the end. It's more expressive, meaning that it is more understandable and readable. Above that, Python is a beginner's language. It's a great programming language for beginner level programmers and supports the development of wide range of applications from simple console based applications to games and more. It's very easy to learn. It has a very few keywords simple structure and a clearly defined syntax. This makes it easy for beginners to pick up the language very quickly. And it's also easy to read. Python code is more clearly defined and readable. It's almost like plain and simple English. Above this, Python source code is fairly easy to maintain as well. Regarding the language, it is an interpreted language. Python is processed at runtime by the interpreter. You don't need to compile your program before executing it. This is similar to Perl and PHP. Python is also an interactive language, wherein Python supports for an interactive mode which allows interactive testing and debugging of snippets of code. You can open the interactive terminal, also referred to as Python prompt, and interact with the interpreter directly to write your programs. Python is object oriented. Python not only supports functional and structured programming methods, but it even supports object oriented principles. It can also be used as a scripting language or it can be compiled to bytecode for building large applications. Python is a dynamic language. It provides very high level dynamic data types and supports dynamic type checking. It comes with garbage collection. So what is garbage collection? It is a process where the objects that are no longer needed are freed from memory, thereby cleaning up the memory for other programs that might need it. Memory management is very important while writing programs and Python supports automatic garbage collection, which is one of the main problems in writing programs using C and C++. Python has a large open source community. One of the main strengths of Python is its large open source community and its libraries from open source 118,000 plus and they are still counting. If you are stuck with an issue, you don't have to worry at all because Python is a huge community for help. So if you have any queries, you can directly seek help from millions of Python community members. It has a broad standard library. Bulk of Python library is portable and cross-platform on Unix, Windows and Macintosh. It's extendable. 
you can add low level modules to python interpreter and these modules enable programmers to add or to customize their tools to be more efficient above all this python is a cross platform language in other words it is a portable language python can run on a wide variety of hardware platforms and has the same interface on all platforms python can run on different platforms such as windows linux unix mac etc now coming to applications of python as mentioned before python is one of the most widely used languages over the web it is known for its general purpose nature that makes it applicable in almost each domain of software development python as a whole can be used in any sphere of development let me list a few of them here databases python provides interfaces to all major commercial and open source databases thereby making it useful to create tools or GUI for database and also to use with applications that involve interacting with databases web applications we can use python to develop web based applications it provides libraries to handle internet protocols such as html and xml supports json email processing request handling feed parser etc there are many well known web frameworks such as django fast api pyramid flask and many more to design and develop web based applications it supports desktop gui application development python supports gui applications that can be installed and run locally on systems like windows linux ios etc python provides tku gui library to develop user interface in python based applications some other useful toolkits like wx widgets kive pyt that are usable on several platforms kive is popular for writing multi touch applications coming to the most important part python is very famous in big data and data science world python and big data is an inseparable combination when we consider a programming language for big data development phase being open source having a wide community and a huge library it is best suited for big data projects python has become the number one programming language in data science world for developing machine learning and data science projects including big data projects some important packages like pandas numpy scipy tiano tensorflow etc they all provide everything that a developer needs to work on big data and machine learning projects pyspark is also an example of how capable it is and with which we can also use it on apache spark environments python is compatible with hadoop as python and big data are compatible similarly hadoop and big data are synonymous with each other hence python has been made inherently compatible with hadoop to work with big data python consists of pydoop package which helps in accessing hdfs api and also writing hadoop mapreduce programming besides that pydoop enables mapreduce programming to solve complex big data problems with minimal effort an example of python's usage is it's used by ibm they use it very extensively and they have even developed a python sdk for, for watson which shows its popularity not just ibm even netflix and spotify they use python extensively for their recommendation and analytics engine which shows its popularity in the machine learning and data science world we can develop console based application we can use python to develop console based applications ipython is a best example for this multimedia applications python is an awesome platform to perform multiple tasks and can be used to develop audio and video based applications not just these python can also be used to develop 3d cad applications develop enterprise level applications image processors and editors there are several such applications which can be developed using python and the list goes on but i think this introduction of python should be sufficient for you to get started with now that you have some familiarity with python just to introduce you and keep you excited 
about Python till the further videos, I am going to show you a very small conventional Python Hello World program. I have opened the Python terminal also known as Python prompt. So here I am going to just start writing my first Python code for this tutorial. I'm going to say print and that's it. We wrote our first Python program and even executed that. Welcome to Python world. That's it for this video. Please do subscribe to our channel if you have not already done. Check out the description section for the links to get access to a lot of resources in Python. Don't forget to share this video and like it too. In the next part, I am going to show you how to install Python and set up the environment to get started. Thank you.